Travis Carroll controls the jump tap to start overtime. 57-57, our eighth tie of the game, and it sends it into a four-minute overtime period. Scott Eaker along with Dan Dockich, Danville, and Avon. It was all Danville as the first lead came at 46-44, and the basket there for Danville gives them the lead, 59-57. Yeah, Michael Humphrey, really confident, tough kid. Just jumped up and knocked it in. He's in double figures now. Trying to answer at the other end is Childs with kind of a <laughs> throw it up over your head and back it in. And that's one of those where uh, you probably uh, either went to church last week or need to go this week. <laughs> Let me put it this way. He hasn't missed church in a while to make that shot. <laughs> Good help. And there is Mackey who rolls it in and draws the foul. By Mackey. And that's Mackey's first basket of the ball game. Hits the free throw and it's 62 to 59. Three minutes left to play in this overtime. Three point lead for Danville and a foul gonna be called out on the floor. He's got 12 points. This one is good. He should be, he's a really good looking sophomore. Gets them both. Yeah, he has one a good point stroke. He should be a good free throw shooter. 2.50 to play, 62-61. Danville with the basketball and a one point lead. Tyler Hall out front. And they are still just banging inside, aren't they? Childs and Carroll are just killing each other. Rigged it. In and out. No. Carroll rebound, and he's going to be fouled. Happens many times in overtime in a game like this that's been quite physical as Carroll misses. Take it to the early movie, but uh, we may be here a while, and rightly so. He missed them both. Got his own rebound, though. That's the second time he's done that in this ball game. And so it remains 62-61. Two and a half to play. Still a lot of time here in overtime at Danville High School. The host Warriors with the ball and a one-point lead. They've got to get the ball to Carroll. He's being guarded by a freshman, and he's much bigger, much stronger. Carroll, good patience. Good patience right there. Outside to Tyler Hall. Hall with eight points on tonight. Here comes the help. Carroll working against the freshman, Burgett. Hall out front to Humphrey. Humphrey drives down the left side of the lane in traffic, puts it up, banked it in. That's two buckets for Humphrey in overtime, and he's running down the court. He is a fired-up kid with a determined look. He's got 11 now, and it's 64-61 to answer. Three-point shot, Michael. No, Carroll clears the rebound. No need, no hurry. You just slow it down. All into the front court, drives the lane, kicks it out, and rigged in. It's going to let it go out of bounds. It was last touch by Avon. Good shot. Get it to Carroll against the freshman. And at 25 left, Danville with a three-point lead. Still a one-possession ball game. Humphrey out front working on Michael. See, they can't give as good a help now because they're down and they have to pressure the ball. So it should open up here eventually if they just have a little patience, handle the ball for Carroll. Hall out front, Humphrey. 65 seconds to play. Yeah, We're in overtime. Humphrey and Hall working out front, playing a game of keep away. Michael reaching in. Don't foul Humphrey. He's going to make. Michael's got three fouls. Sarver out there has not fouled yet. He's got fouls to give. Humphrey. Get it out of there. Ball knocked out of bounds. <laughs> Computer monitor the same things, Dan. Probably yelling at me to shut up. <laughs> Inside intended for Carroll. It was overthrown and... Coming through there to grab it was Tyler Hall, and he drew the foul, who is 6 of 11, make it 7 of 12. Got to get the ball up to his waist, and he'll be a much more consistent free throw shooter. He got that one. Rolled it in, and that's a big one, 66-61. Now you got to go here a little bit against this zone. Little, little ball screen should be able there you go. It was 59-59 as the shots missed there. So Danville right now as they lose it. Forget on a roll, out front three, and it's good for Darian Michael. And a timeout quickly called as it's again a one possession ball game. Pressure, they may not have to foul here. They can get. And they do Ooh, foul. Kind of the toughness of the team tonight. They get into your offense, get a basket. There you and go. he got it, four point game. Good move here, good 26 move 26 points for him. Bit. 68-64, Sarver quickly to the basket, lays oh, it up, and he it. missed it. He, he missed had it. an easy shot, and he missed it. Carroll with the rebound, and quickly he's fouled. Carroll hit his last two. 
27 points now as he hits that one and makes it a five point lead. Eyes flies it up there and it is good. 28 points for him. Now you gotta go, get a screen, get an open shot and drill. 70 to 64, Poland up quickly. Out to Sarver, three on the way, oh. in and out, no. Rebound, Michael, he'll put it up from three point range, hit it. <laughs> three seconds left, they're not even gonna have to inbound it. It ends like that, 70 to 67. And the host Danville Warriors come out of here with a hard fought victory in overtime, a three point win. And a bunch of guys in camouflage have rushed the court here. <laughs>